All right, welcome. Enough of the theme. Let's go. Need to work on a way to get that to just fade out. Oh, shit, I don't have water. I'm going to have to go get water at some point. All right. What's up, Ty Spot? How you doing, man? Happy Friday. Welcome in. Um, so I'm a little hyper. I'm going to warn you ahead of time. I'm a little hyper. Um, just applied for a job with Rawlings. I'm dealing with... Uh, pro athletes and uh, agents and the teams and stuff. So we'll see if that happens. There's like 78 people that have applied, but um, we will see how that goes. And if I get the job, I get to go to the winter meetings every year. How fun would that be? <laughs> winter meetings every year. I'd be down there. Awesome. So anyway, anyway, um <clears throat> let's see let's go to the standings real quick and you can see we are 17 and 14 only one game out of second the rangers are kicking everybody's ass um <clears throat> but we have the second most runs scored and second fewest runs allowed in the division that's good still ranked 13th in all of baseball so we've definitely improved the team with the signings of willie adamas max freed and uh corbin burns trade for jared kelnick um, improved our uh, pitching staff, especially in the back end and bullpen. <clears throat> so I am not like trying to win a world series in the first year. I just want to be more competitive. So, um, as you guys, uh, noticed previously on the budget, we've got most of our big name guys signed for three years. So that gives us pretty much three years to make a run with this team. Um, I don't see us being big players in free agency next year, but that could always change, but I really don't see it. I, I would like to fill the bottom three slots, slot bottom two, especially with uh, some of our younger pitchers and get them developed and in, in. Um, Freed and Burns, we traded for Garcia last year. So we have Estes and Sears and Spinch, Spence, Spence. I said Spence and Finch, it was Spinch. Um, We've got some other guys here. So we, we have some guys that can slide up there. So I, I don't want to just go nuts. So we're, we're going to go with this for a while. Bullpen, it's always a moving target because they're they're up or down from year to year. Um, I am looking for a, another prospect catching-wise. First base, we're good. Second base, this guy is our uh, was our first-round pick this past season. So we... Uh, trying to develop him to be there. We got Kobe Mayo to play third. Um, Adamas is here for three years. Jacob Wilson is possibly the future. I don't know if he's going to hit enough. Outfield, Rooker's 30 already. Ruiz and Kelnick should handle it for a bit. If we can find somebody younger, that would be fine. Traded for Pete Crow Armstrong and Emmanuel Rodriguez, so we're good in center field. Butler is only 24. Adele's 26, so we're kind of good in the outfield. Um, could definitely use another player at short, um, and catcher. So pitching shortstop and catcher are the focus going forward. So if we could find something along those lines, if I can find somebody that's really good defensively and that can hit that plays a different position, we can move them to shortstop and uh, catcher. We're just going to have to hope discovery helps us out. So. Um, if we can find an 18-year-old that is like in the high 50s, low 60s, I would gladly take that and let them develop for three or four years and see where they stand. So anyway, let's get into this. We've got the month of May. Let me sus. Let me assume that. So we got a lot of division games. We've got the Rangers, the Angels, Astros, Rangers, Kids City, Detroit, Boston, Philly, Toronto. We will uh, probably focus more on our division this time. So um, we could play a game against the Rangers. We could play a game against the Angels. And we could play a game against the Astros. That's probably what we're going to do and sim the rest. Um, I don't expect to do a lot of player lock today. I think we're just going to sim. Um, once we get into June, then we'll do probably two games with more player locks and head down to the minors and try and get more player locks with those guys, especially Kurtz and Fiore. So... Maybe, maybe one of our pitchers. We'll see. But anyway, let's get in here. DeGrom, Bradford, Evaldi. Yeah, I don't really want to play against DeGrom, so let's sim that game. 
David Fry gets traded to the Cardinals for John King and J.J. Weatherholt. So I'm going to tell you right now, we would never trade a 22-year-old first-round draft pick for a 29-year-old third baseman. So that's a bad trade. I wish you could just tune that down just a little bit. All right, we beat DeGrom 3-2. to two. Rooker, McCann, and Noda. He gave up three solo homers. He didn't. The team did because we hit one in the 12th inning. Three solo shots. Burns pitched well. Miller blew the save. Bullpen did their job after that. And look at theirs. Corey Seager hit a home run, so <laughs> four of the five runs were hit by home run. DeGrom only lasted three innings. Did he get hurt? Did he get hurt? Elbow sprain, out one to six days. Okay, wow. Okay. All right, we're going to play this game against Cody Bradford. <clears throat> and they're going to wear their City Connects. And we're going to wear our Baby Blues. Roof's going to be open. Bradford is a lefty, so yeah, let's rock that. There we go. All right. So far, YouTube seems to be uh, liking this series a little bit better than the Cardinal one. So we'll see. I don't know. They're fickle over there. Hey, you YouTube guys, if you're watching the video and you like it, please click the like. It helps. Um, even if it doesn't show the counter on the video, it helps on the back end. So that would be awesome if you like the content. Definitely click a like. Especially you guys that have been uh, commenting and not liking. So, all right, Bradford two and zero with a three hundred seventy area a one eleven whip. So he's a pretty good lefty pitcher. All right, I still don't like this park. I like their old one better. One of these days, I'm going to do a franchise and I'm going to move all these teams back to the the uh, old ballparks that San Diego has in the game. Like, put the Mets back in Shea, the Yankees back in old Yankee Stadium, Braves back in their stadium, Texas back in their stadium. Leave the Marlins where they're at. Move Oakland to my stadium. Just do a really funky um, change up on the uh, stadium, throwback stadium franchise. Ooh, we just got these that. All right. Mm, went up and got that, but smoked a hard grounder to second. All right, Ahmed. We need you to hit better than 246, man. You have better contact than that. There we go. That's going to get down and in the corner for a double. Let's go. That's two hard hit balls to the right side so far. Ooh. We were on that one. Third deck. Gotta stay off that pitch. Can do nothing with that pitch. One ball, two strikes. Wish they be the show in their stadium creator it would add the yellow line at the top of the wall. There's no excuse for it not showing the yellow line. Nah, that was a terrible fucking swing. And they don't even show the, the line below the, the foul pole. It's it's just lazy programming. No excuse. Got the call there. Shit. That was a flinch. 
Tak. Go, easy ground ball. Thank you. It's gonna be out of play. All right. I'm loving these. Uh, Low pitch count at bats. Yep, that ball went out. Hey, I think we got out of the inning with less than 10 pitches. All right. Way out in front. Way out in front. Got to lay off that. I know I set my PCI high, but I got to lay off the ones up here. I set my PCI that high because I want to track inside pitches, and I naturally dip the PCI. So if I start high, I should be able to dip it down and make contact rather than dip under and swing under the ball. Nope. Mm. All right, we got him over 20 pitches already. There's nobody out here in the second. And reach. Reached for that slider. Had no chance. Jammed myself. Got to be a little more patient. All right, Nick. You and Nevin just pound lefties, and we got to make sure we take advantage of that. Yeah, that's a strike. Yeah, I went. We went. That was way out front. He hasn't thrown one above the ankles so far. There we go. That fucking Olay animation drives me insane every time. Got so we got one out. It's going to be one nothing. Get too much of the plate there.
All right, only gave up one. Could have been worse. Could have been better. That's the way it goes, man. Fucking Olay defense is just stupid. All of our hits have been right between first and second and down in the corner. So we've been a little bit late, but we've been late with good contact. So it's the speed, 97. It doesn't have a good steal rating. It has great speed, though. Let me see how this motion goes with minimum base. It's a little slow. Let's let Willie hit here for a minute. All right, now we're going to send them. Yeah, it doesn't matter because he hit him. Okay. <laughs> hit him with an 0-2 pitch. All right, SD. No power on that. No chance to move up. No, that was not a swing. Thank you. Just got a piece of that. Come on. Get one up in the zone, please. This is the Bee Gees at bat. Staying alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ba, 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 ba. Staying alive. Foul ball. All right, two and two. Come on. We got nothing over the middle of the plate. Nothing remotely close to the middle of the plate. And there was one, but it was still down. Still down. Still working the outside. And then the low and inside. There we go, full count. Hmm. Just soft tossing everything. Come on, dude. Here we go. It's going to catch that, though. And I'm not going to run on him because he's already in scoring position. He's got great speed, but there's no point in running into a third out, right? So now we get an extra step because there's two outs, and they're going to back off and not hold him. So base hit will definitely score one, and a gapper will score two. Oh, fuck. Swung in a bullshit pitch. Just... And through all those pitches with the other guy, you get a better pitch, a better hitter up, and I swing at the first pitch. Ooh. Yeah, I think it was over anyway. I don't think I was going to catch that. I was back there, but I think he uh, put that high enough that uh, the jump didn't matter. It's 
not where I wanted that. <gasps> Come on. I think he was looking for something off speed there. Five, four, three. All right. Well, not a good inning. Gave up two runs. Slept wrong last night. My neck is fucked up today. God, this guy is the epitome of a soft tossing lefty. My phone rings. I might have to uh, go take a phone call here. Did he go? Let's see. I called and left a message with a guy I used to work with and uh, about a job. So I have to wait to see uh, if he gets back to me or not. How are you guys liking the uh, the series so far? You like the uniforms? You like the stadium? One ball, two strikes. Yeah, jammed. Jammed. That's Gapper. Shit, if he had any speed at all, that's a triple. Yeah, I want to improve the team, but I don't want to go hog wild, right? So we signed some some veterans, but it's not like we're signing, you know, Juan Soto and shit like that. I got a ball, one strike. Plus, I wanted to get rid of some players and not make it just like the Oakland one from last year.
I mean, I could have moved the White Sox here instead. getting that and if I dive then it becomes a triple Take forever to get the ball. Fuck. Got him. No? Really? Yeah, I'm wondering where it is, too. This guy in his fucking changeup is driving me insane. Oh. Fuck off. Joe Adele says adios, pelota. some water. When this game's over, I'm going to go get some water. That was a missile. Didn't get very high, did it? Halfway up the seats, way back there. Fucking change up is just ridiculous. The left number one at the Ruiz. I pushed the button, it didn't register. I only got one back.
Two balls, two strikes. Count is three and two. Shocked that let me have that ball. New pitcher, John Gray. He throws considerably harder. Jammed myself. It was ball four. Go, Larry. Oh, you got it just early. Got all of that one. I think that bad boy's out of here to center field. Back to the track, to the wall. Gone. There we go. Cut that lead in half. Just had enough. Looking at Noda, his his contact's about the same. Power's a little higher, but not enough for me to take Nevin out of the game right now. All right, got one back.
the ball. Hey. Haven't had enough of those today. anything at the bottom of the zone. All right, I think he's done. I think we've got enough of uh, Garcia, so now we need to get this offense going, and we're going to pinch hit for this guy. Senzel's terrible, and we have Mayo, who's much better. As I said... <laughs> As I said. Joe is contact and power both lower. So yeah, we're going to bring in Pete Crow because it also improves our defense greatly. We lose some power. And then we hit a deep fly ball to right. But our defense will get considerably better. So, All right, now Adamas is going to see his stuff go up because he hits righties way better than lefties. Mayo is not a burner, so we're going to have to hit a gapper to get a run here. I hate that it doesn't automatically let me pause and substitute. Fucking pain in the ass. Alright, Jared Kelnick, let's go. So we're going to shift our uh, lesser defense from center field to left field. So... Couldn't stay back. Get down, get down, get down. There we go. That should be two runs. Yep, it's going to be two because 99 Pete Crow Armstrong is going to come all the way around from first, and we got a tie game, boys and girls. Both our pinch hitters got hits. Gotta love it. Here comes Leclerc. Man on second, only one out. Come on, Rosario. Just a single. Ah, don't reach. Don't reach. Stay back and wait. He's gonna come to you. Yeah. Looks like it was a touch out in front. Felt like I waited forever. All right. Got 
That backed up on me at the last minute. Just kind of went with that pitch. Get that extra step on second base. There we go. Take the bigger lead. That's me and strikes now. Come on. Hey. Tied the game, though. That's all that matters. Tied the game. Son of a bitch. Went down and got, he just golfed that ball. And he goes up against the wall and catches it. Lawrence Butler, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get a picture of that one. <gasps> yeah, anytime they have that and it doesn't have the red thing up there or the, the arrows telling you to jump, if they just have that the ball marker on the wall, just race back to that spot on the wall and they will jump and catch the ball. If they have the green and yellow arrows pointing up, then it's probably going to be over the wall unless you perfectly time it. Yeah, it's going to drop. Got it. No, just half second short. Half second short. All right. One batter. Shy of getting out of that inning. All right, got to work again. My wise again. Sink or slow change. Sit low. Let this guy get the ball up. The thing about Langoliers is he's got good speed for a catcher. Hold on, give me one 
One second, I need to check something. There we go. That's a double. If that was in Utah. It'd be a home run. That ball would have flown out of there. All right. Butler hit a bomb center field last time. Let's see if we can get him. Drop one right over the middle of the plate. It's lower than I wanted. I at least put the ball in play to the right side. Like this. Yeah, I don't mind making you out if we get the guy over to third base. Substitutions. We got what's his clutch? His clutch is 52. We notice it's 54. We can play McCann at first base. Right, here we go. Hmm, Try to golf that. You got to get this ball out of the infield. Out of the infield. We need the ball in the air. There we go. That's a double. That could see uh, go ahead run in scoring position, too. All right. Peppering that left center field gap today. All right, Kobe. Hey, the manager is pushing all the right buttons today, except pitching. He's safe. <laughs> we faked him out and got a guy on first base. And Pete Crow. Bad throw, or he gets him. All right, now base hit will score that run. McCann was going to have trouble scoring from second base on a hit. All right, Willie. Get your pitch, man. 86 clutch, 80 power. Ooh. Just caught that late. There we go. Nope, he's going to get it. Oh, well. Hey, battle back. Tie the game up again. All right, Nick Sandlin. I should remember him from the Cardinals franchise. He's got a filthy slider. Mayo cuts it off before it gets to the shortstop. That extra 15 feet makes a difference. I used to routinely do that to my shortstop when I was playing baseball as a younger, younger person. I go way into that hole and cut the ball off. It's a much shorter throw. Jeez, late decision to swing there.
got him with the splitter. There we go. There we go. All right, off to the top of the ninth tie game. We had to come back twice in this game. 5 10 and 0 for both. John Brebbio with a nine and a half ERA. All right, Kelnick. Huge double earlier in the game. Stupid decision to swing. It's going to be caught. This is our big bat, and he's 0 for 4. Oh, fucking way out in front. Way out in front. That was a home run ball, and we were six years in front of that pitch. And he's going to be 0 for 5. All right. Start with Sandlin, see how it goes. Just barely. All right, we're going to walk him and try and get double play and get out of this mess. There we go. Go for the uh, go for the double play until we get two strikes, and then go for the strikeout. All right. There we go. All right, Sandlin, you're done. Miller's coming in next. Pitched around that garbage. So that was a bad pitch to swing. Kind of chased. Kind of chased. <sighs> All right, we beat these guys in 13 innings yesterday. That's 
it's a foul ball. Just got a piece of that. That count full. 11th pitch of the AB. Roped foul. Right, 12th pitch. Walked. Yes. 12 pitch walk. Come on, Larry. He homered to dead center field earlier. Let's see if we can do it again. Can pinch hit earlier had a nice base hit, drive in a run. There we go. That's a gapper. That should get him all the way around to score. We're gonna send him. Hell with it. He's hitting third now. There's no way they're gonna get him. There we go. Kyle McCann. It's not a home run, but it's a big ass hit. Two for two since coming in the game. All right, Kobe. There we go. He's not scoring, but that's okay. Keep the merry-go-round spinning. Now he can score. Come on, Pete. Come on, Pete. Ooh, just out front. Mason Miller's coming in. Said that before we batted. Ah, oh, now we're tardy on that. Oh fuck! I gotta take my doctor, my dog, my doctor, my dog to the doctor at four thirty. So I forgot all about it. So we're gonna play uh, one more game and call it a day. And I might come back later tonight. And play another one. So if I split this in two, I'll just edit them together for YouTube. There we go. Seven to five. So I got like 45 minutes to go. So we might just do a bunch of player locks after this. And call it a day. And then come back after dinner. Totally forgot all about it. All right, seven five. We've battled back three times. Nine out of ten and save opportunities. I can just challenge Seeger. It's not a one-run game, so we can just challenge him. That's where I won the last pitch.
Six, four, three. That's a ball game. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Thank you. Thank you. ST went over, but Kelna came in. One hit, drove in two runs. Langlier scored two runs. McCann, pinch hit, drove in a run. Batted again, drove in a run. Mayo went two for three after he pinch hit. Pete Crow, one for three, drove in a run. Adele hit a home run while he was in there. So that was a complete team effort. Garcia pitched kind of eh. But... Bullpen, for the most part, did their job. Yeah, Sandlin, excellent job. Even though uh, he had to gut his way through that second inning. All right, let's go see our scouting. So this catcher is listed as the 21st player. And we are picking 8-39-46. Taking a picture of that, so I have it for later. So I don't think I would take him at eight, but he's he could be better than some of the pitching prospects. His arm's not the greatest. So all right. This is for we're gonna stay there. This is the last week for international pitchers. You can see. Not ranked. He's a seven. He's a two. He's the best player. We haven't checked out Tim Lawrence. Yeah, a lot of central guys. So... This will be the last week for international. Then we'll switch over to central. We're still discovering central pitchers here. So depending on what the number, see, we have 38 starting pitcher prospects scouted here, 38. So if we can get close to 30 in the central, that'll give us a huge number of pitchers scout, uh, scouted for 10 weeks. Um, let's change him. Catcher five. Jack Goss. So let's scout him since we're picking eight. And he'll be done in one week. And that will uh, give us an idea of we can, he could be a catching prospect. Really good defense. All right. So five games back. Let's look at stats real quick. So Rooker has 40 hits in 305 with 6 and 16. Ahmed, 244. Adamas, 519. Valley's in 220. Pete Crow's up to 276. Butler's got the power, but he needs to bring his average up. Mayo, McCann, Sinzel, Kelnick, Adele. Noda, Nevin. Pitching wise, Sears is near A over five, but everybody else is doing their job. Bullpen wise, Sandlin zero ERA. Jackson and Muller are sucking, so let's fix that. All right. Butler forum tightness. Yeah, I'll just let it go. We won eleven to seven. Rosario, Armstrong, Rooker with two, and Noda with one. Rooker was five for six. Wow. We swept Texas, guys. We just swept the Rangers. They're in first place. We're only four games out. We went to Texas and swept them.
or hit shut out. I mean, you get shut out. Zach Veen, he's in the minors, he's out. Butler's back. So he lost three out of four to Kansas City. Still only four and a half games out. All right, I wanted to play one of these games against the Angels. So Fried and Detmers. I don't have time to play another full game. Um, so. It's home against Detroit. Tell you what, we're going to send these first two games so I can see what that catcher looks like. And we win 13 to 1. Rosario, Rooker, Mayo, McCann, and Noda with home runs. My goodness. Told you, we're going to hit a ton of home runs in this ballpark. And we win 4-2. to two. Trout homered for them. Rooker homered for us. Spence pitched great. All right, now let's go look at the scouting. So this catcher is overrated. He's He is a B potential, but he's... So if he's like a 83 potential, he'd be like a 62 overall. Really good defensively. But I would not take him with the eighth pick. There's a possibility for our second one, though. Change this to central. discover some players that's for sure All right, we're going to look at the center fielder and start scouting these guys and keep discovering we'll discover for two more weeks and then or we'll at least see how many are in the central because we've discovered at least six pitchers so if it's like 25 we'll we'll stop discovering in the central and we'll move to Trying to find shortstop catcher, especially. All right. All right. <clears throat> we are back. And those of you on YouTube won't notice any difference. It's just going to splice right together and be one thing. But I uh, forgot that I had a appointment for my dog. She has an ear infection. And uh, we had to stop after one game and... Now we're coming back now. i got plenty of time, and we're going to jump in where we stopped. And uh, we're going to play a full game here with Max Freed against the uh, LA Angels and Reed Detmers. <clears throat> and then we'll go through some player lock games in here. I might jump down to the minors. And then we're going to do a player lock against the Astros here at the end of the month because we already did one um, right here earlier if you missed that, we won seven to five in 10 innings. We were down what, four to nothing, clawed our way back, tied it, gave it the lead, came back and tied it, and then we won it in the 10th. Several of our guys that we used as pinch hitters came through in a clutch, so that's where we are. <clears throat> and now we're going to jump in and play this full game. And uh, as you can see, we are 27, I'm sorry, 23 and 17. <clears throat> we won seven of our last ten. We're three and a half games out of the division, which is better than I expected us to do. Um, we're scoring a ton of runs. 
And uh, man, my nose is itching for some reason. Oh. We're 14 and 7 at home, 9 and 10 away. Um, told you guys the stadium I created is at altitude. So this is basically an American League version of Coors Field. So we're going to have to outscore these guys. <clears throat> Well, yes, the Astros have yet to play a division game, and we're in May. <laughs> Mariners have played 17 division games already, and the Astros haven't played any. Wow. Uh, we are the number two wild card team, but there are a whole bunch of teams that are within striking distance, including the Mariners, who've won five in a row. Uh, let's see, 26 Yankees. Have 26 wins. Rangers have 26. Royals have 25. Braves, look at this. Three teams in the East have 23 plus wins. 500 in, as leading in the National League Central. That, that is a mess. Dodgers are 31 and 11. They've scored almost 200 runs already. <laughs> okay. That's how it is. Um, Stat wise. Rooker leads the team. He got 52 hits, scored 24 runs, 10 homers, 23 RBI, hitting 327, 972 OPS. Um, Pete Crow, his average is coming up. Butler's got some pop. Our catchers have how many? Five home runs. Adele's hitting three, 313 with four home runs. Notice hitting 320. So we're hitting really well. Pitching wise, freed. 248, Corbin Burns, 232. Sears is the only one over four. He was the only one over five at one point. So, And bullpen-wise, Zach Jackson and Muller are sucking. Alvarado hasn't pitched enough. He needs to pitch more. <clears throat> so deadline, <clears throat> trade deadline comes, we might we might ship Zach Jackson out. So while the strikeouts look good, his ERA and his, his walks are horrible. 11 walks, 21 hits, and 19 innings is never good. And he was very serviceable last year. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. Um, Muller's just a starting pitcher going in long relief, and they're kind of beating him up. So. All right. Scouting-wise, um, we're going to scout this center fielder right now. We had we scouted this catcher, who's uh, on our list at 18th, 17th ranked for us. Um, good hitting catcher, really good fielding, but it's sus arm. And there's this guy here who they had five, we have it 48. So, really good defender. Hitting is a little behind. Um, do you have anybody else? I don't think so. And we're going after this Marshall Corley right now because uh, we have the 8th pick, the tw I'm sorry, 8th pick, 39th pick, 46, 82, 112, 142, 172. So three picks in the top 50. So that works. All right, let's go. Let's get in here without further ado. Home game against the Angels. And yeah, we'll just leave him there. We don't have a choice, so <clears throat> oh, the drifter is broadcasting XCOM 2. I'll have to go watch that VOD when I'm done. I've played almost 1800 hours of XCOM on my. PC and uh, PC and on my PS4 and 5, so that's an excellent game. So if you want a an RPG turn-based game, um, futuristic hunting down aliens that have taken over the world, squad-based game, it's awesome. Um, I would uh, highly recommend that. Who do we have that can also play? Can you play short? Not really good, but you could play short. My SD's better. All right, let's play you at short. And let's play 
you and switch you. All right, so Senzel is now on the left. Mayo, let's flip those two. No, we got a lefty. He's a lefty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're there, you're there. With the fast guy so he doesn't clog the bases up in front of these guys. So. Do it that way. He's a lefty. All right, here we go. <clears throat> You guys are enjoying this new uh, relocation franchise, man. Let me know. You guys on uh, YouTube, give me a like. Leave a comment. Tell me what you like, don't like. <clears throat> if you like our new stadium, uniforms, whatever. We've allowed only three earned runs in this series, and we're hitting 425 as a team. This is the third game of the three-game series. So we put the beat down on him in game one. <clears throat> All right, Max. See if we can get you five wins. You're pitching excellent. Grounder, two pitch out. There we go. Why is he playing first base? Hold on. Why is Butler playing first base? And why is Crow playing right field? He can't play first. Yeah, we're going to swap those two. We are going to swap those two. And swap those two. And Mayo's going to play first base. He's a third. He's in left field. Right field, center field. All right. I don't know what the CPU is doing with our, our lineups. <clears throat> That's my spot. Last two pitches were nowhere near where I intended them to be, and that's what happens. Didn't get the strike, and then we gave up a hit. Mr. Trout. You got to worry about Mr. Trout. Here we go. Oh, it's Mother's Day, so we got the pink bats. We don't normally... We don't normally... Uh, I guess he got that stupid number in the back. All those extra pitches we didn't need to throw. Why does he got 42 on his back? So it's Mother's Day and Jackie Robinson Day on the same day. So they're not making us wear 42. 
they're the only ones wearing 42. So that happens when you have a relocation with custom uniforms. And so we've got 42 on their backs and pink bats in their hands for everybody. All right. Combining holidays. One's blowing out to left pretty good. guy takes forever to throw the ball. Now, why did I swing? When somebody's on base, it goes much faster. But that little arm raise all the way back down to his waist is a pain in the ass. That alone is why I would not want to trade for him or sign him as a free agent. There we go. <clears throat> all right, Brent. Way faster with runners on base. So we just need to make sure we bat with runners on base all day long. The pitch. I don't want that. I do want that, though. <laughs> Adios, you got to fix his shoes. They're too bright. Four seventy three. <laughs> Where did that ball land? <laughs> Absolute missile. Where is that coming down? Like it landed where the staircase was, but it could have been in the seats just to the left. Off his leg. And he's going to beat that out for sure. Helps to have speed at catcher. All right, Larry. Ah, pulled off. Stay away from that. Both those pitches were out of the strike zone. Yeah, that was too. That was just a poor at bat. Gotta force him to pitch higher in the zone. <clears throat> my hands way in and Trout's going to run nine miles to get that one. But Brent Worker. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the other page. <clears throat> Bam. 470 plus feet. Gonna stand there and take three pitches. All right. <clears throat> Missed my spot completely. There we 
go. Right, let's see if we can throw this sinker down here. Man. Swing and a miss or a ground ball. Okay. Line drive. Can throw a change up? Yes, he does. All right, let's foul that up. We have a change up in the same spot. And we missed our spot completely, but luckily, it's just a lazy fly ball to Butler. Weston Wilson. <laughs> I almost said Preston Wilson. Anybody remember him playing for the uh, the Mets and the Rockies? Played uh, with the Cardinals, too. I think he got a World Series ring with the Cardinals in 06. Get foul. Get foul. There we go. There we go. Good timing, but uh, I hit on top of the ball. I kind of hung that, and I'm, I missed it. All right, Joe. Had a big home run in the first game of the, that we uh, played this month. That was tardy. That was definitely tardy. I was expecting something off speed and down. Like that. What's up, Lynn Weezy? How you doing? Welcome in. One and two. We uh, we streamed earlier today and played one game, and then I had to stop my stream because I forgot I had a, a vet appointment for my dog because she has a ear infection. So we had to uh, raid out and then come back for a day-night doubleheader. So we're, this is the second game of the doubleheader. So welcome in. And the uh, Avengers are... The number two wild card in their uh, second place in their division. And looks like I've built an American League Coors Field here, so. I can't wait to see our first 500 foot home run in this park. I've played home run derbies here and almost hit it to that uh, green party deck over there in left center field. Above the stands, there's like a wall of luxury boxes. And above it, there's a patio that has uh, green shrubbery across the front. Right over there. I have not hit one into the party area in Home Run Derby. I've tried. I've hit one like 518, but I haven't been able to reach those seats up there. Just kept breaking. That's a ball. Just a can of corn. All right. Still two nothing. No idea who Derek Hill is. Right, going high fastball. If we don't get him, I'll come back with a twelve six. Now we'll throw the 12 6.
Missed my spot. <laughs> Stood there and took a changeup right down the pipe. What the hell? Lazy fly ball to right. Joe Adele has it. Strand that base runner. That's what we like to do. All right, Rosario, Rooker, and Langoliers. All three have hits in the first time. Rooker's was 417 out here by that big circle. Not, seven, not 17, it was 471. I'm not dyslexic, but I wouldn't know. All right. Rosario is holding our spot for our first round pick from last uh, last year's draft, 2024 draft. He's uh, cooking away in double A right now. And no matter what he does, we're going to leave him there the whole year. The next year, we're going to leave him in triple A the whole year unless we have injuries. I need him to play two full years in the minors, and then when he comes up, we'll be good to go. Reached. Reached. Off the end of the bat. Let's go, Sugar Shea. Hmm. A little bit higher. Need that ball up a little bit. Like that. I just can't keep that fair. That would have been a home run fair. Throw that ball over here a little bit. Get it off my shoe tops. He's only throwing one pitch in the zone the whole at bat. And that was barely. Late decision to swing. My bad. That's a home run unless it goes foul. It's curving, hooking. Just missed a home run. Very fortunate. I'm going to double up on change-ups here. There we go. <laughs> we got you, Mikey. All right, see if we can get a double play here.
Take that instead. All right. Another inning with no runs allowed. All right, Butler, see if we can just get you on base. Wind is blowing out briskly to left field. How do you guys like this ballpark that I made? How does it look to you? Nah. And if you wanted to uh, download any of my uh, parks here, just do a search for online ID in the vault for that. And uh, it'll pull up all of the ones I've made this year and last. Did you get enough of that? Yes, he did. Barely got over the wall. Wall scraper. Just kind of went the other way and flipped it out there. 358. Tried to wait for it to break and drop, and then I dropped my PCI. I dipped. That's why I completely missed it. Just stay there. That's the ball. <clears throat> We're not going to have a bunch of guys putting up a lot of huge numbers because we got some platoons go going on, unlike our Cardinal one where you knew who was going to be in the lineup every day, and you're going to have seven or eight guys putting up big numbers. Two two. Oh, we caught it. That was a rope. Absolute rocket. All right, Kobe. And he caught that one, too. Man. Snagged two rockets to third base. Took away two extra base hits. All right, Joe. Hey, Joe. Jimi Hendrix is calling. Try to go the other way. Come on. Hang one. Damn finger slipped off the controller and I just fouled it off. 84 power. We gotta we gotta make the contact or else we're not gonna have any extra help from the game. If we do make contact, shit's gonna fly, so come on. There we go. That's a double. You can see we have pretty high walls out there, like 10 feet high. That's so we don't have so many cheap home runs that just get over a, a short wall.
Alright. Got a double. Didn't do anything with it. But we did hit home run. He just went the other way and flipped that out the left field. Sinzel made a try. All right, one out. And the runner was hurt going to third. That's strange. Yeah, we we'll give up the run for the out. It's two outs. Clears the bases. And we just gave up a home run. Ooh, Zach Neto. Come on, get something over the middle of the plate. Could throw that shit down and in. We haven't uh, been able to steal with Esty for a bit. I'm popping everything up. See if we can coax a walk out of this. <clears throat> Here we go. Three and one. We'll take. We'll go ahead and take this pitch. Make him throw a strike. Here we go. Time to steal, boys. Time to steal. Got him rattled. Walks the first guy. He's 2-0 oh on this one. 3-0 and oh on this one. Rooker's on deck. He's already hit a 470-foot home run today. So we're just going to take at least one pitch. And it's a four-pitch walk. All right. Here comes Rooker, and Detmers is done. And they're bringing in a lefty with a 15 ERA. Righty's hitting 545. Holy shit. You sure you want to bring him in? Uh-oh, that's got a chance. Trout back to the track, to the wall. Caught it up against the wall. It's like 405 to that spot. In the, in the corners of that outfield, it's like 411, 412, where the left field wall meets the center field wall. He came close to having his second home run of the day. I think Lears is going to get a run home, though. 
All right, got that run back. Last one. Two-run lead. All right, Butler. Now we don't have to be uh, re-swinging here. We can take some pitches. Unless they want to throw right down the middle. And we're still going to fly out. I'm not going to pass up one right down the pipe. All right. That's a rope. That was by Ruiz for he even thought about moving. Unfortunate. What a double play. I wasn't sure he was ever going to get rid of that ball. I was spamming triangle to get him to go to second base. Watch this. I thought he was going to run to the bag, and then he does this pirouette and flips the ball out of his glove. I wasn't sure we were going to have enough time, but we got it done. There we go. There we go. Way to go, Max. Work your way out of that jam. All right, Nick. You're over. You're due. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't wait long enough. That ball was like sitting on a tee, like right there. Nice pitch. One ball, two strikes. That's the ball. Two balls, two strikes. All right, work that count. Let's go. Ah, way, way out in front. That was a filthy pitch. All right, Kobe, you're due well as well. Ofer, see if you can get a hit. Ah, way up on top of that pitch. My goodness. <clears throat> Joe Adele, two for two. Uh-oh, I'm making three for three. It's going to be at least off the wall. Yep. See, that had hopped over for a ground rule double. If we didn't make the wall that high, that would have been a double instead of a triple. I put it that high because, one, I didn't want those wall scrapers. And I, uh, I wanted balls to hit the wall on one hop like this instead of going over so that if we have a guy on first base they have a chance to score instead of having to be stopped at third base on the ground roll double <clears throat> I think Trout's going to get to this one almost the same spot Ricker put him up to <laughs> he's getting his sprints in center field today Last inning for Max. 
And this guy had to come in for the injured first baseman. I don't know how he got hurt running from second to third, but he did. And that's long gone. That was not where I intended to pitch that ball. There we go. Pitching a dirty swings and misses. Outs. Yeah, I know he's getting tired. No, that's down. Ball. Meadow homered earlier. And then he's going to get a double here. Had to work for that one. All right, Andrew Wants comes in. He's pitched much better than the other two guys. A little wild on this at bat. It's already walked once today. Good pitch, good pitch. We're not going to do anything with it if we swung at it. Swung a ball four way over my head. <sighs> All right, Rooker. Trout's going to go get this one, too. Yeah. No, he missed it. Just straight up missed it. And the whiff. I'll take the double. Gaucher. Oh. 
All right, off to the eighth. Motherfucker, how did he hit that pitch that high, that far? I have no idea how he hit that. That ball was in the air forever. How high this ball is. I had no chance to catch that ball. That's the shortstop's ball. That's <laughs> so far to run. No idea why Pete Crow has to go get that one, but whatever. All right, they have the bottom three up in the ninth. So we need to uh, bounce back here. Brock Burke, remember that from my uh, Rockies franchise last year. We got him from Texas, I believe. There we go, flip that out there. All right, Nick. Extra base hit right now. Right now would be a good thing. Come on. Of course he lets it drop so he can turn to double play. He catches on a fly, it's no double play. <laughs> Look at this. Short half that into a double play. <sighs> All right, Kobe. Just took his head off. Off to the ninth, new pitcher. Careful, because this dude hit a home run off free this last time. Up. All right, got through that one unscathed. Let's see if we can get a walk-off win here. Ronzi Contreras coming in. 
Joe Dell, three for three, gets his old team. Yeah, way out front. Way out in front. Gotta be patient. See that goddamn ball. And then we we just swung at everything. Just swing at everything. No big deal. Alright, Pete. Get you on. We can steal you around. With one out, I'd steal second, steal third, and then try to get a sack fly. Nope. Ground ball. He's going to be out. Back up to the top. SD Ruiz. Doesn't hit righties as well as he does lefties. That's all right. Let's see if we can coax a walk again. Nope. Not when he throws two pitches off. In the zone, we got a swing. All right. Off to extra innings. Go foul. No, that's a foul ball. Got him. There we go. <laughs> Shit. Trout comes up with a moment. Oh, he caught it. Holy shit. I thought that was going to be down. Wow. Holy cow. That's why we got that, dude. 99 defense and 99 speed. Look at this. Reaches and grabs it on the backhand. Got him. All right. He's trying to drive that to right. Nubbed it. All right, Brent, end this fucking game. You got one home run. You just missed the second one, and then you got a double out there. Deep to right center field, and that's going to be a double down the right field line. There we go. Dig, 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 dig. He's got a long way to run. All right. I'm not going to pinch run for him because we might need his bat later. All right, Shay, let's go. No, what? No. I'll leave him in there. Deep fly ball down the right. Caught. And he's going to go to third. Now a base hit will get the win. All right, base hit, air, wild pitch. Come on, Lawrence. Let's go. Lawrence of Arabia. Ball one. Come on. Let's get this over right now. Smoke a line drive. Ball two. 
He's on deck. Senzel. We'll pinch hit for Senzel. Oh, chased it. And he's going to catch it. Fuck. All right, new pitcher coming in. Underwood Jr. I actually saw him pitch in real life when he was with the Pirates. Went to a game against Pirates and Cardinals. Watched him. We sat right by the bullpen, so I got to watch him warm up the entire time. He used to have dreadlocks back then. He's a grounder. Rosario throws him out. There you go. Two down. Get there, Petey. All right. Now we're going to bring in another lefty. This guy has another long motion, I think. No, maybe not. I was going to pinch hit for Sinzel, but they keep bringing in lefties. And it's his turn to bat. Just get a piece of that. And it's just a high fly ball. ball. Oh, that four seamer ran away. Looked more like a two seamer. Swung under it. One ball, one strike. Oh. Two, one. There we go. 15 hopper through the infield. All right, Joe. Hey, Joe. Good pitch, good pitch. I swing at that, it's a double play. I want something out over the plate. That's why we're looking out here in this outer third, outer two thirds. Mm. Come on, you know you want to go outside now. Bust me inside twice. One and two. Three times. Come on, you want it out over the plate. Walk off two run shot. Seven down and in golf that shit out of the park. <laughs> Joe gets revenge on his old team. There we go. 
Look at this pitch. Down and in. Driver. Bam. How far did he hit this? Because this was further than Rooker's. Halfway up. <laughs> I'm going to uh, replay that last one. That's not what I wanted. Shit, I just I got these uh things on my controller grip pads and I just knocked one of them off. Three hits for Rooker, four hits for Adele. Wow. He might be working his way into uh starting lineup every day. All right. Go to Detroit and beat them five to two. Beat Casey Mize. Mayo and McLean with home runs. Burns is now four and three. Mason Miller with his 13th save. And we beat Jackson Job 5 to 3. Pete Crow Armstrong, Brent Rooker, and Ryan Noda with home runs. And Ruiz made three errors. Wow. That's not good. We pitched around the three errors. And then we lose 7-5. Rooker, Langoliers, and Kelnick with home runs. Sears got lit up. Looks like everybody got lit up that day. All right, we need to save. Let's go back and check this lineup because it's looking kind of sus. All right, got that. Yeah, yeah. It says against right-handed pitching, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Lefties, let's check this out. Yeah, we don't play him at first base. Nevin should be playing first base. That's right. There we go. Yeah, we'll flip those. I'm going to separate these lefties. So you can't automatically have two lefties bat in the same inning for three batters. You know, bring in a left-handed pitcher, he's not going to automatically face two lefties. <clears throat> All right. At Toronto, let's play our lock with somebody. You know what? Let's go to the minors. Let's go down to double A. And let's do Nick Kurtz again. So Nick Kurtz and Logan Fiore are two big prospects down there. Um, Kurtz was the first round pick by Oakland this year, this past real, real this year summer. 
Um, and Fiore was our first round pick in our first draft that we did. All right, no score, two outs. This guy is crushing Arizona Fall League right now in real life. Dude has been on fire. He was tearing it up at Wake Forest. Yeah. Foul ball. Way up in front. Swung at the arm and not the ball. Got pop. Six to seven contact, 57 power. So should be able to drive the ball if we can make good contact. The sunshine on the uh, batter's eye is a little distracting. It's not letting me see the ball as clearly. A little too bright. Can't see the rotation at all. Hmm. Got all of that one. Smoked it foul. Into the bullpen. Self defense. So I wouldn't get hit with a pitch. And that's a rocket that gets caught. All right, up two to one. And on second, one out. Now we don't have to deal with the sunshine on the backdrop. And we went and popped it up. Went down and popped it straight up in here. Not good, not good. All right, Logan Davidson gave us a four-run lead. We're going to need a hit here because we have two outs. We're not going to be able to get a sack fly out of this. And that's just going to get run down in the gap. I'm going to get one more AB or no? Nope. Got the win, though. Logan Fury, two for four. There we go. John Hess with the win. All right. Major League side, we win eight to seven. Rooker with another home run. Noda with four ribs. Looks like he hit a grand slam in that fifth inning when we scored all of our runs. The only one who didn't get touched was Miller and got the save. All right. Uh, Max Freed again. Let's player lock somebody on this game. Let's go Willie. Willie? Willie? Should we do Willie? Let's do Kellick. We'll do another player lock. We'll do Pete Crow and we'll do uh, Willie Adama. So try and get the cold guys heated up. All right. 1-1 one, one tie. Man on second. One out here in a second. That's going to get a run home. There we go. Rip that double to the gap. Come on, Ryan. All right, two out. I can get an extra step lead here.
All right, still have a 2-1 lead here in the fourth. Ah, way out in front of that curveball. Oh, that was not a good at-bat. Get out of play. Wow, they went nuts. 8-3. to three. Guerrero with a homer. Horowitz with a home run. Kirk with a homer. Jesus. Good timing, good contact, just didn't drive it. Did get a run home, though. No sack fly. Pete Crow losing 11 to 5 now. Is that going to get down? Yes, it will. I'm going to hold up, and that's going to be an RBI double. There we go. Butler hit a grand slam to bring it back to a one-run game. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Max got lit up. All right, we're 27 and 19. We're three games off the division lead. And we have the number one wild card. And we get that 213 runs scored. Yankees are at 232. We're the number two offense in baseball. All right, scouting. This center fielder looks like he's going to be a B in the high 60s. We got another week to go on him. So really good speed and contact. Looks like a SD, a bigger SD Ruiz, right? But I'd take him to play left field. So we're gonna we're gonna go another week discovering prospect pitchers. So nothing changes there. Who's on the trade lock? <laughs> Pardon me. Big yawn. Um, yeah. Crochet would be nice, but we don't have enough to get him. We don't need... He's... He's he's going down. He's not much better than Langoliers. Um, Cabrera would be a nice right-handed platoon at third, but we don't need him at third. If he was, if that was the exact opposite, it'd be a great shortstop platoon. Shane Baz would be nice. What do you guys want for Shane Baz? Ryan Noda, Nick Kurtz, Logan Fiore, Kobe Mayo. I would trade Noda for him, but see, we're giving him a 29 who's a 75 for a 25 who's a 79. Why would they trade Kurtz? Because he's better than what they've got. Hmm. He's doing good. He's 25. But that kind of blocks some of our prospects, right? Hmm. 
Damn, need to quit yawning. I'm sorry. Um, he's a C potential. Be nice to have him as a. But we have McCann, so we don't need to trade. We don't need to make that deal. Wisely. <laughs> Nolan Jones. Kyle Manzardo. Yeah, there's really nothing we need. All right. Wrap up that Toronto series with two straight losses. And go to Boston. We're going to play another full game here in Houston. We get to the end of the month. Lucas Giolito. Let's player lock here at Fenway. So we can do uh, Pete Crow. I am so tired. So what we're going to do is throw a little energy into our water. No score. One out. Yeah. And we were tardy. Going back to the uh, late 70s and 80s with these baby blue uniforms. Plus the, uh, that blue and the, the gold do not go well with gray at all. Which I'd have just gone with a uh, a dark blue jersey, but the pants. Get through, get through, get through. There we go. They're going to send him. There's the throw. He's out. What a throw. Now it's four to two. Ah, swing out in front of it. And it's a double play. Not good. And it is. He had 10 hits. Just didn't have timely hits. Okay. Man, I don't know why I'm so freaking tired right now. It's like 8.30. It's not like I went to bed really late. And they lose 5-2. to two, And they lose 6 to nothing. Are we going to get swept? Two hits. Kelnick and Adamas. All right, Max. 21 to 2. <laughs> we were saving it all for that game. My God. SD Homer, Rooker Homer, Adamas with two, Noda with one, Ruiz had five RBI, Willie Adamas had five RBI. Nobody had just one. Five, three, two, five. One for McCann, three for Noda, two for Armstrong. So two steals. Max rebounds nicely. Who got beat up? Eight runs for Cutter Crawford. My God, they just crushed everybody that game. Okay. <laughs> Taking it out. We had lost five in a row. Okay. Burns and Nola. And we lose. Or Kitty, let's go play like this game. And we'll do a Thomas. Kelnick's heating up. Hey, no 
Bryce Harper with a sack fly. All right. Good pitch. Oh, right at him. Right down the middle and waited for that break. Crushed it into the ground. All right, Butler tied it up with a solo shot. And we got under that and put it straight up in the air. Three run home run for Rosario. It's four to three. This guy out there is looking ominous in center field. Oh, I got it and just didn't drive it. He's going to catch that. All right, still 4-3 in the ninth. JP France. And we got that one finally. <laughs> Let's go. That's what you got him in here for. Power. And Mayo adds an RBI. There we go. Four for four on Rosario. Butler, Rosario, and Damas with home runs. Garcia pitched okay. Bullpen did their job. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So he's ranked 17th. So he's probably going to be, his potential is probably going to be in the mid 80s, 84 ish. He's going to be around 64 ish. Definitely can hit, definitely can run. His vision and discipline isn't bad. Doesn't have a ton of power, a little bit more against lefties. His defense is a little sus. He's a left fielder for sure. Not a center fielder. He's a big boy, though. All right. Can't find any more guys there, so we're going to shift you, and we're going to look at catcher in the central. we got two more weeks, three more weeks on center pitcher. we got to go through through week 10. So once we get to week 11, we'll start doing individual pitchers. <clears throat> Let's look at... He's fifth. He's in the East. Let's scout this guy right now. Because our scouts can do both. Both scouts can do both. So let's get this pitcher out of the way. Since he's a top 10 pitcher. And he'll be scouted completely this week. All right. JP Sears is out one to two week with a strained peck. Mm, we'll deal him. And we lost three to four. All right, let's go. And Joey Estes is going to come up to the majors. Finch is going to go to AAA. And. Roberts is going to go to double A. All right, next this goes there. Roberts goes there. And Finch goes there. All right, at Texas. Five to one win. Let's go. Rooker and Adamas with home runs. Spence 
evens his record at four and four. Sandlin holds. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> All right, John Gray. Let's play lock on him. And uh, let's go. Kyle McCann. I do not see Carter on their team. They must have traded Carter away. All right, Max. Hold your shit together and pitch well. Oh, it's three to two already. First inning, three to two. Too close to take. And then he powders it right through. That sucked. All right. Young guys, Butler and Mayo, get us back into the game. Still 4-3. We've come up with men on base every single time. God damn it, we keep doing that. <sighs> yep. This is our third straight at bat with multiple men in scoring position. And uh, all that's going to do is move a guy to third base. And he's not going to go, really. All right, we bat in the ninth of the game on the line. Fuck. Wow. That was a terrible player lock. Absolutely brutal. It cost us the game. We had double, two men on almost every single lap out I had. That was gross. <clears throat> and then we lose one to nothing on a solo shot by Corey Seager in the first inning. Wasted Corbin Burns to start. And then we beat DeGrom one to nothing. <laughs> All right. Garcia with a three hit shutout. All right. Do we want to pitch with Joey Estes against Hunter Brown or Mitch Spence against Jordan Hicks? Or we can skip and go that day. We already max freed, so we don't do that. So. Day game, night game. Let's do... Yeah, he threw... He had started 32 games last year, so let's... Let's do him.
All right, Kobe didn't have to rush that throw so much. All right, Butler, nice hustle. All right, uneventful first inning. Gotta love it. The wind is blowing out again. It's like playing a course field with the wind of uh, Wrigley Field. What's up, Patton? How you doing, man? Hey, we had to do a uh, had to do a day night double header today. I, I streamed for like a little hour and a half or something um, this afternoon, and then I remembered I had a vet appointment for my dog. So we played one game and ended the stream, and then after dinner, hop back on and uh, play that full game. Just wrapped up some uh, player locks, and now we're playing our last full game of the day. We are like three and a half games out of first, and we're either first or second in the uh, wild card. And we're hitting bombs. We scored 21 runs off the Red Sox at Boston in one game. Oh, Kelnick's going to go deep again. <laughs> Into the play area, off the back wall. Four twenty one. Uh Dresden, this is our second season. The first season we simmed. We had some a few player locks, but we didn't play any full games. We uh you can't relocate a team until year two. So we had to sim through and we focused mostly on the draft um and making some trades. And then once we got to that off season, then we moved the team and rebranded the team and put them in this ballpark and stuff. And then uh, signed some free agents and made a few more deals. And this is our first season where we actually play the games. And uh, we usually play two to three full games each stream and mix in some player locks in between. We... Uh, after this game, I'm going to go down to the minors and play lock on um, the guy we just drafted as in the first round this last that season that we simmed. So it's the second season, but it's the first season where we're actually playing games. Nah. And Batten, we've got we found a uh, he's a center fielder, but he's really a left fielder. So we found one that we could take with our first pick if we pick eighth. We also found um, one or two catchers that they would be okay, but not worthy of a number eight pick. Like if we were picking at fifteen or twenty, that would be would be a good pick. So. We're gonna have to look at some more stud starting pitchers. If uh, if there's an absolute stud sitting there at eight, I'll take the pitcher for sure. But anytime you can add bats in the first round, you do it. Oh, we just missed that. Can't move up on either of those. Man, I am so tired for no reason. All right, Kobe. 
See if you can find a gap. No, oh, jammed myself. Should have not swing at that. Take some goddamn pitches once in a while. Fuck. All right, we'll take that home run by Kelnick. Put us on the board. Bam. Oh, Batten, the game that we uh, played, the full game, Joe Adele hit a two-run home run, walk-off home run. I, I literally called it. <laughs> Can we get a two-run walk-off here? And then he smoked one. Got him. Ring him up. Oh, come on. Thank you. Out of that jam. Let's go. In Dresden, this is a uh, a ballpark that I made. Uh-oh. Off the wall. See, if I'd have made that a, a shorter wall, like a 7 or 8 foot wall instead of 10, that would have been a home run. I'm trying to keep some of those cheap home runs in the park. Because the ball's going to fly here. I didn't hit that ball well. It almost went out. That should get him to third. Especially when make a wild throw like that. All right, let's see if we can get this run home. Come on, Petey. I know hitting's not your strong suit right now. That's going to get us a run. No, it's not because I thought it was down and I took off running and now we got to get back to not make it a double play. I thought that was going to be down for sure. Mental, mental, mental mistakes. Uh, you can find it in the uh, in the uh, vault. You need to search for uh, Power District Park. I have two. One's 2.0 and the other one's just Power District Park. Um, you don't want Power District Park 2.0. Um, cause I'm not quite done with it yet. I have to upload it so I can test it out on the uh, home run derby and stuff. But if you want to see all the stadiums I've made this year and last, God damn it. Why is it not doing this here? Just search on my PSN. There. This one is at altitude. So you, uh, Salt Lake city is at 4,200 feet. So the ball's going to jump. Get through, get through. There we go. That'll make up for my mental air. So to play like a mini Coors Field. And that's why I pushed that outfield so deep out there. And why I put the wall higher on the sides and shorter across the middle. And it's real short down the corner, like uh, Dodger Stadium in Anaheim. Like it's a four foot high wall, three foot high.
here you can see see it's real short down there and then it juts up all the way to there and then it drops back down over the middle repeats itself over here these are basically like bullpens this area and the one over there are would be the bullpens if they didn't have them sitting out here in the play and then we've got like standing room so you have to pretend that there's net in front of these people so they have a stand they can stand all the way down so All right, that should get down. Kelnick is just crushing it when I bat with him. That's a uh, solo homer in the first and a uh, one-run RBI double here in the uh, second. He's just killing it. Between him and Adele in left field, man. Although Adele's playing center field and right field. Just move Butler to left. There we go. There we go. Five nothing in the second inning. Come on, Willie. We signed Willie Adonis, Max Freed, and uh, Corbin Burns as free agents. Needed a shortstop, needed a bat in the middle of the lineup. We needed top of the rotation pitchers because uh, what we have is young, but it's not developed yet. He's going to catch that. All right. Big five run lead. Hung that slider, Fuck. slur, whatever it was, just put it on a platter. Here you go. Hit this as far as you can. That was supposed to be down and away, and it was thigh high right down the middle. This guy, I'm having trouble hitting that yellow mark with this guy. None of those pitches are where I'm trying to throw them. I'm either way above or way below. I can't get it to zero in. Only the first out. Feels like we've been pitching for half an hour in this thing. Try to give him a chase. Got him. Tink. Yeah, I can trade for him. Except the Cardinals need all the young pitchers they can get on that team. So you remember with the Cardinals, I drafted that lefty pitcher, Chris Cutliff, and he was really good for us the last two, two and a half years or whatever. I'm playing the next year. I saved my progress from what we did on stream, but I'm playing beyond that on my own. And he's got like 15 wins or something like that. I'm at the end of September. He's killing it. He's uh, our best pitcher. Oh, Butler goes to left again. Yeah, I know he does. He barely responds to anything I say in his comments either. Um, but uh, he's he's awesome. And 
there was an outfielder, um, Vina or Pina, I think it's Pina, that the White Sox took right before us. He's killing it. And that pitcher that the A's took that we wanted so bad is just 200 strikeouts a year. He's just killing it. So that was an incredible draft for that, fran that whole franchise save. Yeah, he uh, he just got to the World Series for the first time in year five. And he's facing the Rangers, who we played in year four. And if the Twins had won game seven, he would have played the Twins, who we just played in our year five. I, I don't like how he fucked over Mason Wynn. He was impatient. He was very impatient with Wynn. Because Wynn was one of our best hitters, right? He had over 100 RBIs that last year that we played. Excellent defense. All right, Noda. Yeah, tardy. Late swing. I am so damn tired. Ah. I watched this movie last night on, on Prime. Um, infinite. Mark Goldberg was in it. It was um, it was okay. It was different. It wasn't the best thing I've ever seen, but it wasn't terrible. <laughs> yeah, it bothers me too. Come on, Willie. There we go. There we go. I'll take those easy ground balls. Keep that ball on the ground, not in the air. We need strikeout pitchers, and we need guys with splitters and sinkers and really good change-ups. There we go. Kind of float that ball in there. It's probably a cutter. We haven't thrown one all game. No, can't copy this one. Well, I'm actually getting more views on YouTube with this one than I did with the Cardinals. It's not like I'm getting, you know, 100,000 views. But whatever, at least they're, they seem to be more interested in this one. Oh, Pete Crow goes deep to right field. Wait till that guy develops. My goodness. Bam. Goodbye. That was a rocket. How far back was that? Yeah, middle. Middle, middle. We just tore up Hunter Brown. All right, Aragetti. That's a filthy pitch. Slurve, curve, change, cutter, fastball. Does he throw anything straight? Look at that slurve. That's nasty. Man, I love this stadium too. I think uh, I think it's my second favorite right now behind uh, my treehouse park in Oakland. I love that stadium. Any franchise I play... I automatically move the A's into that location. So when MLB 25 comes out next year, I don't care what stadium they have for the A's. I'm putting them in Treehouse Park. And the cool thing is all of these stadiums stay in the vault so you can use them all the previous all subsequent years. Thank you, but we could be even more creative if they gave us more to work with. If we could get rid of these bullpens, you know, in the playable area and let us do more stuff in the outfield they won't let us put stuff right up against the wall they have this no-go area it drives me insane you can't go really tight to that center field 
Um, you can't put any lights, any lighting whatsoever behind the batter's eye for a long distance going straight out. And they, they give us a bunch of garbage instead of good things. And you should see some of the stuff that we have to do to finagle stuff. Like some of the scoreboards, if you flip them around backwards, you get a nice color wall. So if you want a, a, a green wall beyond the fence in an area where there's, you know, nothing going on out there, you can take a take. I would take look at the scoreboards and turn around and look at the backside because I've used the backside of two different scoreboards to, to do stuff like that. Architectural designer. Awesome. Well, you know, you would be amazed with the, the um, some of the stuff that people do with the limited resources in this game. There's actually a whole Reddit for MLB stadiums. Yeah, let's see if I can find that for you. Because there's other people that make some really fucking nice ones too. Here. here it is. MLB show stadiums. Right. Yeah. Here. Yeah, I put this park out there before I made some um, changes, so I got people talking about it and voting on it and stuff. And I put a lot of my parks out there just to see what they think. Plus, you can get ideas from things other people do. It's kind of fun. Yeah. There we go. Nice double play. Well, that was an easy half inning. Gotta like that. They could make modular bullpens like they do with the stands and let us um, put them running out away from home plate or run parallel to the wall. Let us stack them like they do in uh, Philadelphia and Baltimore. We could do a lot of really cool creative things with these ballparks if they gave us the right tools, but they don't care because it doesn't make them any money at all. They make zero money. That's why they don't give a shit about getting decent rosters for franchise either. That's why I said next year I'll have to wait until the first update. So I'll just grind away on Diamond Dynasty and and uh, mess around with that until they come out with that first roster update. And then it'll take me a few days after that because I'll have to go through the top 100 prospects in baseball and see what they did last year and adjust their ratings. So if you got a guy that hit, you know, 320 in the minors, I'll boost his contact and I'll boost his uh, vision to make sure he's a good hitter. If they have power, I'll give him the power. Um, if they steal bases, I'll, I'll bump that up. Pitchers, if they strike a lot of guys out, I'm going to bump their Ks per nine, you know, those kind of... Because they don't make them good enough to begin with. And then they don't progress fast enough um, to get up to the majors and replace the veterans because the veterans, man, once they hit 10 years of service time or right around 30 years, combo of the two, they just start tanking. It's stupid. No, I flinched. They could do so much better. It makes uh, the immersion... Not as good on franchise because they don't have those prospects coming up. So, like, you know, when Ellie De La Cruz came up last year, he never would have been high enough rated after playing half a season in the minor leagues to be worth calling up.
Oh, hey, Batten, I, uh, I applied for a job with Rawlings today because it's local. It's right here in St. Louis. It's over close to where I used to work for the fantasy sports company. It's like a 15-minute drive. It's a customer service job dealing with players and teams and agents doing their orders for their bats and their gloves and all that stuff. And uh, you get to go to the winter meetings every year. It's part of the job. <laughs> How cool is that? And I've already had experience dealing with professional athletes and agents in two other companies that I worked for. In fact, I even told them when I applied that I did a, a contest Worked on a contest with Rawlings and Colton Wong when he was with the Cardinals back in 2015. And we did a big giveaway and it helped boost the uh, social media following for both Colton and Rawlings. That's foul. Yeah, I process all the orders and I have to stay on top of it and make sure stuff gets out. Make sure they get paid for, you know, that kind of thing. So there's like 78 other people that applied for this job. So I'm, I'm trying to find anybody that knows anybody there. And that uh, catcher from the Durham Bulls, Kenny Piper. Fucking straight boot to that ball. I talked to his mom. I sent her a thing. And she said, you know anybody at Rawlings? She's like, yes, because one of the kids that used to play on our baseball team with Kenny and my son. He's big. He's like 6'5". He, he was throwing 80 miles an hour at 13 years old. Um, she knows a couple of people at Rawlings, and they got him a uh, tryout with the Cardinals. And one of the guys I used to work with, um, and we did all these contests and everything with these pro athletes, um, he still knows one of like the girl that's in charge of the uh, marketing or some shit for Rawlings, so... So, just got to cross your fingers and see. I don't even care what the pay is. Fuck, I'm 59. I'll be retiring in seven years anyway. Ah. As soon as I officially retire, I'm gonna I'm gonna ref my ass off, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be streaming like crazy. I have two. I used to have a beautiful black one with a basket weave um, web. And I left it on top of a dugout when I was coaching my kids. It was completely broken in. It was beautiful. I'm so tall. I just set up on top the metal roof on top and I forgot about it and left it. It was heartbroken. I had it broken in perfect. My younger son used to get heart of the hide gloves all the time when he played. He played, he played uh, D3. Ah, way out front. All right, Jared, you've got a double and a home run and driven in runs with each. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, the kid that got the tryout for the Cardinals pitched Juco as well. We had, uh, I think there was... 14 people on that team and 12 of them played college baseball or football. I think we had 10 baseball players and two football players. And one of the baseball players is working for the Mets now. He's down in Port St. Lucie. He's, uh, he's down there working with some of the minor leaguers. Is that going to get down? Is it going to get there? 
Look how much room he had to cover, and he snagged it. The ball stays in the air way too long in this game. Some of those stadiums you're going to find on that Reddit and also uh, in the vault, they uh, they really spend a lot of time creating the the surrounding area with parking lots and garages and the buildings and the roads and they do all that stuff, and it's a waste of resources and it's a waste of time because you can't see any of that shit when you're playing the game. So I only do what I need to do to get the stadium built and for what you see around. But anything outside, immediately outside the ballpark, you won't see anyway, so what's the point? Rather spend all my time doing stuff inside where you can actually see it. There's another one you'll, you'll probably like too if you... Uh, Go to the go to all the stadiums. Go to Windy City Stadium. That one's pretty cool too. You can use that for the Cubs or the White Sox. That one's a pretty cool one. It's a lot of brick like this one is too. I made a stadium in Charlotte. I made a stadium in Memphis. No, Nashville, not Memphis. Nashville. Oakland. There's another dude on YouTube that makes um, some really cool parks named Gopper Gaming. This guy. It's not his PSN. You'll have to go to his video and, and uh, it might be in the details of the description showing what his PSN is. It's like something baseball 01. I can't remember. But he's got some really cool parks. He's got some Tampa ones. He's got a new White Sox one. He's got a Phoenix. He's got a Las Vegas. He spends a lot of time. He is stupid creative. Um, he's got, and he has videos. He shows, um, he shows himself building the stadiums. He's really good. Doesn't have much personality. Doesn't talk loud enough. He needs a new mic. He needs to talk louder. So I usually just turn off the sound and put it on double speed so I can watch what he's doing. Pick up a lot of really cool ideas from him. But, yeah, personality of a wet rag. Sure, he's a very nice person in real life. I can't wait for Fiend to get back to... Uh, there's a shot. That one's going to drop. Fiend is, uh, he's doing uh, an NBA series. Um, he was doing a Madden series. He did college football for a little bit with Vanderbilt, and he just cold turkey stopped. I wonder if it's just the bullshit with that new game. He decided to hell with it. But right now he's really focused on NBA. Um, he's the one that showed me the proper technique for uh, drafting baseball, discovering players and scouting. He is awesome. He had a really, really good Rockies series. So what he did with the Rockies was he took over the Rockies and he made one trade the first year. He traded for Ethan Salas from San Diego, the 17-year-old catcher. And then at the end of the season, he made, yeah, he made the trade with San Diego. He traded Nolan Jones and... I think Jones and Tovar, he traded two really good players, and he got Ethan Salas, and I think that's all he got. And then he released everybody else that was on the 40-man roster. And that, so that left him with prospects that were not on the 40-man, that were too young. So he used that as the base. And that whole first year, he went in and he drafted players, and he got some. he got an absolute stud at shortstop the first year. 
and then he found another stud at first base. And then as he's going along, he's drafting a bunch of pitchers and stuff and developing them. And then he found a two-way player. He found a two-way player that was basically a white Shohei. The dude was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, and he has a whole stream where he shows himself discovering that he has a two-way player in the draft. And he took him. Um, and the team is so bad because he cut all those uh, everybody off and he used Rule 5 draft to add players to his major league roster. So he's terrible for like four years. Um, and then later he finds another really good right fielder. That If you want to watch a really, really good series that is 100% team building because he doesn't, in that one, he doesn't sign free agents. Um, he did the Rule 5 draft, but he doesn't sign free agents. He doesn't make... He makes limited, very limited trades, but it's almost strictly through the draft. Oh, don't swing at that. Um, it is, it is fun, and he moves pretty quick. And there's like seven or eight seasons, and then at the end, he does a really long. He does a really long thing that shows them playing into the future and and how they did and everything. Um, I highly recommend Dean franchise go watch his Rockies one. He did one with the White Sox uh, last year. He did one with the A's, did one with the White Sox, and then he, he did one with the Rockies, and the Rockies is by far the best one. And he doesn't play the games. He he uh, watches the CPU play against itself. So you're just watching the CPU pitch and hit and field. He's not actually doing it. So it's 100%. It's 100% um, team building and letting the computer do it. Fiend franchise. And he's the one that has the, the really good video on how to uh, scout. He put one out last year and he put one out this year. Oh, yeah, I know. He's getting tired. We're just cruising right along. I don't think he's that tired. He just put this guy down in three pitches. 7Ks. That's six straight pitches. Can we get an immaculate inning here? Nope. But I'll take seven pitch inning and we'll take him out for the ninth. Yeah, Fiend has been in my streams before, uh, especially watching the draft. Um, he doesn't do uh, Twitch a whole lot. He's mostly a, uh, a YouTuber, and he does some live streams on YouTube. So you won't see him around here a ton. But uh, very, very good content creator. Some, some content creators do not go out of the way to uh, promote other people. I don't know if it's a... Uh, insecure thing they don't want to lose viewers but uh i have no problem promoting this dude i don't know him personally i've been in his live streams and chatted and stuff but he's just uh his, his channel is still small it's getting bigger though he's uh he's doing a good job hope he keeps doing it it's great content i enjoy it Am I a little jealous? Yeah, ten percent maybe. Not much. I just I enjoy him for his content. Oh, Kelnick with another home run! <laughs> Have a game, Jared Kelnick. Two homers and a double, four ribs. <laughs> four forty-seven. No, 
Ah, chased. Chased. Come on. All right, let's get our three outs and be done. We're almost done with the stream. Kelnick. Bam. He got all of that. All right, you're tired. I get it. Let's bring in Alvarado because he needs to pitch more innings. Doesn't matter if it's a blowout. You? Okay, I'll take three ground outs. There we go. Avengers at the win. Smoke the shit out of them on offense. That was their first home run. Jared Keltnick, three for four with five RBI. I love it. Butler, Crow, Armstrong, and Kalnick with home runs. Estes, eight Ks, four hits, one walk, two runs. Great season debut. Keeps pitching like this, we'll send JP Sears down and keep him up in the uh, rotation. All right, let's go to double A. Gonna play against the hooks. And we're gonna go with Logan Fiore, our first round pick from last season. And he's on a heater, he's up to 290. Kurtz is hitting 299, Fiore's hitting 290. He's better against lefties than he is against righties. So I wanna that's why I want to keep him down at double A, because I want him to, to really dominate and to get a boost. Kind of looks like Arenado, to be honest. It's out of play. This guy's going to run 50 yards, I was going to say. No fucking way. Wind's blowing in strong from right field. Got a lot of that one. Is he going to run out of room? Oh, he hit it out. Wow. I didn't think I hit it hard enough. <laughs> Wow. Did not think I hit that out. I thought I was just going to hit high off the wall and get a double. And there we go. Bam. All right, bases are loaded. One out. Ooh. Trying to put one down in the corner and clear the bases. Uh-oh. Is that out of here? Is that off the wall? Oh, hit high off the wall. Bases clearing double. It's got five RBI. Double and a home run and five ribs. <laughs> This is our first round pick, boys and girls. This is our first round pick. Looks like he's got a little bit of a mohawk going on underneath that helmet. You're up. 
All right, he's driven in all four runs. And they come back and take the lead. One on, two out. Has he got another one? This is going to be a gapper. Again, he hit another one. <laughs> Adios, he's got a double, two homers, and six RBI. He is the show. Wow. Two of them in the exact same spot. And they take the lead again. They're just going to keep forcing me to have to drive in all the runs. They're going to catch that one. Man, have a game, Fiori. We lost because no one else could do anything. Three for four, two RBI, six runs batted in. <laughs> okay, all right. That's going to be the fun way to end the stream here. I'm going to sim on the... I'm going to sim over here. Keegan is out one to two months with a torn finger. Ugh. Keegan is out. That means Schwartz has to go up to double A. Let's look at the standings. We are seven game. Oh, that's that's the Rock Hound. Triple A, they're in first place. Us, we are three and a half games out. I'm not going to play the, the last game of the month. I'm going to stop here because I'm going to go get our uh, scouting set up for the next week and call it a day. I'm tired. So we are 32 and 28. The number one tied half game back on the uh, wild card, we have 272 runs scored. Dodgers have 275, Yankees 270. So we have the second best offense in baseball. Rooker, 16 and 34, 333 average. Rosario, 261. Butler, 298 with 11 and 31. And remember, Multiply all that by three, and that gives you a full season. So 33 and 93. And what is that? 40, 48 home runs. Over 100 RBI. Adamas, 30 and 90. Pete Crow, got to get that average up. Mayo's doing okay. He's kind of platooning. Kelnick. He's killing it when we're playing with him. Note his average tanked. Pitching wise, Max got a little cold. Burns, a little cold. The rest, of, the rest of them are doing real well, though. Jackson and Muller need to cut their innings. Alvarado needs to. Mason Miller, 27 strikeouts and in 17 innings with so 16 saves. Rooker's number three in the MVP. He's also number three in the batting title. Mason Miller, number three in the uh, reliever of the year. Rookie of the Year, Jackson Halley's with Miami. 
Burns's first and gold glove. Mayo's third at third base. Rooker's first at Silver Slugger for DH. All right, all right. All right, let's look at this scouting. So this starting pitcher fell off. Remember, he was like way high up, way high up. And so when we uh, scouted him, he fell off huge amount. Not ranked in four. Ooh. We don't need him as a closer, but this guy could step in as a reliever. Troy Hobbs. It's not Roy Hobbs. It's Troy Hobbs. <laughs> From Kentucky. Troy Hobbs. Mom, we don't need... Son, we don't need Roy Hobbs. We have Troy Hobbs at home. James Jones. Yeah, I need to... Scout some of these closers later. All right, scouted those catchers. Don't really need first base. Second baseman, he's too old though. There's nothing at third. He's probably a B at best. But let's, we'll scout him. Doesn't hurt to know. Catcher, there was none. So let's go international. All right. And we're going to save this and be done. All right. Well. Thank you guys for hanging out earlier today and hanging out tonight and getting this done. I'll splice them together so they're one video for YouTube. And uh, I'll cut off the end of one and cut off the beginning of the other and just run it all together and we'll be good to go. Um, I will be back either sometime Sunday or Monday night. Um, not tomorrow for sure. So Sunday or Monday, we'll get it through June. So that means sometime in the middle of next week, we will get to the draft. Um, next week, I have to get a crown. I have a tooth that has a big filling in it and it's starting to split the, uh, the tooth itself in the back. So I have to get a crown put in on Thursday, Friday. I have a college playoff match Friday night and Saturday. I have two college playoff matches on one at like two and one at seven and they're like an hour away. So I'm just going to hang out all day. So definitely won't be doing any streaming next week on, on Friday or Saturday. So at least not at night, but I would uh, check back either Sunday. If I'm bored with the uh, NFL and fantasy football, we might do it Sunday night or Monday night. One of the two be one of those two. So watch your, uh, watch your notifications. And uh, I don't think I have anybody on here. I'm going to go raid. I think we're going to call it a night. So we'll just call it a night. You guys can go wherever you want to go. So, all right. Appreciate you guys. Have a good rest of the weekend. And I will catch you either Sunday or Monday for uh, the month of June. And uh, you have a good one. I appreciate you. And uh, adios. Mm -hmm.